पाइप पी कैन फिल अ टैंक इन फोर आवर्स वाइल पाइप क्यू कैन फिल इट इन सिक्स आवर्स वर्किंग सेपरेटली पाइप आर कैन एम टी द होल टैंक इन फोर आवर्स अमित ओपन द पाइप पी एंड क्यू साइमल्टेनियसली टू फिल द टैंक सो वॉट इज अमित डूइंग सी पाइप पी इज फिलिंग द टैंक इन फोर आवर्स और इन वन आवर पाइप पी विल डू वन बाई फोर्थ ऑफ द फिल वन बाई फोर्थ ऑफ द टैंक सिमिलरली पाइप क्यू इज टेकिंग सिक्स आवर्स टू फिल द टैंक मीन्स इन वन आवर पाइप क्यू विल फिल वन बाय सिक्स ऑफ द टैंक एंड पाइप आर ओके पाइप आर इज एम टी इंग द टैंक इन फोर आवर्स ओके सो वॉट डज दैट मीन इन वन आवर इट विल एम टी वन फोर्थ ऑफ द टैंक पाइप आर इज एम टी इंग द टैंक इन फोर आवर्स और वॉट इज आर डूइंग इट विल डू इट इज एम टी इंग वन फोर्थ सो दैट्स वाई वेन इट इज एम टी इंग यू पुट अ नेगेटिव साइन राइट वेन द पाइप इज एम टी इंग यू पुट अ नेगेटिव साइन इन फ्रंट then what has amit done amit opened pipe p and q simultaneously to fill the tank he wanted to adjust his alarm so that he could open the pipe r when it was half filled but he mistakenly adjusted his alarm at a time when the tank would be 3/4 filled what is the time difference between both the cases to fill the tank fully again the same question can be approached using unitary method and using lcm method so i will explain the unitary method first and then i'll also try to explain the lcm method whichever is uh, easier for you please follow that see whichever method you practice will be the method that is easier for you okay yes so if you ask me i would say again this question also you should solve it using the lcm method because calculations again using the lcm method is very very easy now let us first try it using unitary method since lot of you are finding this method to be easier let us first uh, explain that so in one hour okay if p and q is open how much of the tank will they fill in one hour p and q will fill 1 by 4 plus 1 by 6 correct or 10 by 24th of the tank is filled in one hour so p and q together can fill the tank in how many hours 24 by 10 or 2.4 hours so i can say that p and q put together can fill this tank in 2.4 hours now what was amit's plan amit's plan was to open the pipe r when the tank was half full so when will the tank be half full when only p and q are open see the tank will be half full at 2.4 divided by 2 or 1.2 hours correct so this is the time amit was actually planning to open the tank r now let us assume that amit opened the tank r at this 1.2 hours so after this 1.2 hours now what has happened see the tank is half full so at this point amit has opened the third pipe r till now pipe p and pipe q are filling now the third pipe is also opened once the tank is half full so now all three pipes are working when p q and r together when all three of them are working what is the work done by them Net work done by them is nothing but one by four plus one by six minus one by four. Correct? Because these two are filling and this one is emptying, or this is equal to one by six. This and this will get cancelled, right? Basically, whatever work P is doing, right, that is being emptied by R. So, for uh, when all the three pipes are working together, the net work done is only one by six, or I can say that in one hour only one by sixth of the tank is. filled so in 1 hour 1 by 6th of the tank is filled now how much of the tank should i fill i have to fill half of the tank half of the tank is already full the remaining half i have to fill so if in 1 hour i can fill 1 by 6th of the tank the half of the tank will be filled in how many hours 3 hours correct so now in this case right that is the case when the pipe p and q are opened and the tank is half full at that time pipe r is opened in this case the total time taken to fill the tank is nothing but this 1.2 hours plus this 3 hours right so in the first case the total time taken is 3 plus 1.2 or 4.2 us so this is the actual case that should have happened but what did uh, amit do he actually uh, opened pipe r only when the tank was 3/4 full so when will the tank be 3/4 full see in 2.4 hours the full tank is filled correct when p and q are open means in 2.4 hours the full tank is filled okay 
full tank you get full tank all the full of all of the tank is filled so at what time will three fourth of the tank be filled three fourth of the tank will be filled in 2.4 into 3 by 4 hours correct in 2.4 hours p and q are able to fill the tank completely so three fourth of the tank will be filled by p and q in how many hours 2.4 into 3.3 by 4 that is equal to 1.8 hours so i can say that p and q can fill the tank to three fourth of its capacity at 1.8 hours now at this 1.8 hours what is um, what is our person doing amit he is opening the tank r now now that three fourth of the tank is full how much is remaining to be uh, filled one fourth correct now you know that p q and r previously we found out that p q and r when they are working together in uh, one hour they will fill one by sixth of the tank now how much do i have uh, remaining to be filled i just have to fill one fourth of the tank so when three fourth of the tank is full all the three pipes are working together and all the three pipes together in one hour are filling only one by sixth of the tank so in one hour they are filling one by sixth of the tank means one by fourth of the tank when will they fill they will fill it in cross multiply one by four divided by 1 by 6 or that is 6 by 4 or 3 by 2 or I can say that it is filled in 1.5 hours okay so in this case the remaining tank is filled in 1.5 hours so if I am considering the case to what is the total time taken to fill the tank see for the first 1.8 hours P and Q are working then for the next 1.5 hours P, Q and R are working so 1.8 plus 1.5 that is the total time taken in case of case 2 so when you do this 1.8 plus 1.5 is 3.3 hours now this is the difference that they are asking you 4.2 minus 3.3 or that is 0 0.9 hours so if you take 0 0.9 hours it is nothing but 54 minutes that is 9 by 0 0.9 hours means 9 by 10 hours correct multiply numerator and denominator by 6 so 54 out of 60 or i can say it is nothing but 54 minutes correct answer is option d so this is the uh, unitary method or the normal method that you see that you use okay p in one hour does one fourth of the work q in one hour does one sixth of the work r in one hour does i uh, empties one fourth okay so if p and q are working together in one hour uh, they will fill 10 by 24th of the tank or the full tank is filled in 2.4 hours so uh, half is full means half is full in how many hours half of the tank will be filled by p and q in 1.2 hours so once half of the tank is full amit is opening the pipe r we know that p q and r in one hour can fill one by sixth now i have to fill the remaining half of the tank in one hour if we can fill one by six the remaining half can be filled in three hours i have just cross multiplied here so the total time taken in the first case is this 1.2 hours plus this three hours that is 4.2 hours now if you look at the second case what happens is uh, tank is again full in 2.4 hours you know that now they are filling the tank three fourth p and q put together are filling the tank three fourth that can be done in 2.4 into 3 by 4 or 1.8 hours that is in 1.8 hours three fourth of the tank is filled okay now remaining i have to fill one fourth of the tank now i know that when the three three pipes are working together in one hour they are filling one by sixth of the tank so one fourth will be filled in 1.5 hours so in the second case 1.8 plus 1.5 that will be the total time taken subtract that yes this is the normal way in which you solve this question now as i said the better way to solve this question is using the lcm method here you see how many calculations are involved how many fractions are involved if you are using lcm method see how you do it is you know lcm of 4 and 6 right here 4 hours and 6 hours p and q are working separately here also 4 hours so lcm of 4 and 6 is 12 so what can i say generally i am assuming that the total work right the total work is 12 units so if the total work is 12 units p in one hour will do how much of the work 12 by 4 or p will do 3 units in one hour q in one hour will do 12 by 6 or 2 units so do it this way p and q put together how much they will do so here if you do it this way p 
does three units of work in one hour and Q does two units of work in one hour. So put together P and Q in one hour will you do five units of work. Now totally how many units of work is there to be completed? 12 units. So 12 units means 12 units means the full tank is filled. Now uh, what are they saying here? The tank is half filled means how many units should be filled? Six units should be filled if the tank is half full. So to fill six units how long will P and Q take? 6 by 5 hours. Do it this way. Alright. So this is the way in which you uh, solve it using the LCM method. Now how much work has to be completed? 12 units have to be completed. So first case that is the case when I am assuming that Amit is opening uh, once the tank is half full. That was what he planned. Correct. So in how much time will the tank be half full? See 12 units is what has to be uh, filled. Now I know P and Q in one hour are doing 5 units of work. So 6 units that is 6 units represents half of the tank. So this 6 units will be filled by P and Q in 6 by 5 hours or I can say that is nothing but 1.2 hours. So P and Q will fill the 6 units in 1.2 us. So you will get the same values that we got for the previous case here. Now next now what is he doing? He is opening all the three pipes put together. See what is the work done by R? R is not doing 12 divided by 4 or minus 3. That is R is emptying minus 3 units when it is opened. So if you look at P, Q and R put together, the work done by them, okay, when all three of them are open is nothing but 3 plus 2 plus minus 3 or that is 2 units. So only two units of work is done by all three of them put together. Now for 1.2 hours P and Q have worked. Now all three are open and they are only doing two units per hour. How many units have they? Ha, should they finish? We have already filled six units. Remaining six units have to be finished. That can be done in six by two or three hours. So now the total time taken is 1.2 plus three that is 4.2. Same value th that you got in the previous case. Same thing. Okay. Now similarly if I take for case 2. Now if you are looking at case 2, uh, what are the, what is P, Q and uh, P and Q doing? They are filling 3 fourth of the tank. Correct? So how much are they doing? So that is total work is 12 units. Correct? 3 fourth of that they are finishing together. So that is how much 12 into 3 by 4 or that is equal to 9 units. Now I know that in 1 hour P and Q can do 5 units. So 9 units in how much time will they do? They will do it in 9 by 5 hours. At this point, the next uh, pipe is open. So here you have 9 by 5 hours. Now, how much have they finished? They have finished 9 units. Now, remaining how much is there to be done? 3 units is there to be done. Put together in 1 hour, P, Q and R does how many units? They do 2 units, right? In 1 hour, they will do 2 units when P, Q and R are open. So remaining how much is there to be completed? 3 units is to be completed. And how much time will that be done? That will be done in 3 by 2 hours. So the total time taken in the second case is 9 by 5 plus 3 by 2. Subtract that. That's all. This I definitely feel is an easier method because calculation is much more faster. Yes. So I hope it is clear now. Let's look at the next question. 